Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BandmateInsider.com. Actually on spring break right now um, in Sarasota, Florida. So I uh, wanted to get at you guys for just a minute because uh, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about before we get into uh, spring practice or at least continue because Alabama held its first practice on March 11th. So you heard Nick Saban. He had some practice B-roll. Um, but their second practice will be on March 21st. So uh, getting back to uh, Tuscaloosa here in a couple days, and I hope those of you in Birmingham or around the area where it's been flooded, um, I hope you guys are safe, so you guys are in my prayers. Um, first thing that I wanna get to uh, when talking about uh, this Alabama team, and uh, after talking to some sources kind of uh, after that first practice is that, look, this team knows that winning a championship is the ultimate goal. And yeah, you could say that for every single Alabama team, but one thing specifically is this team's already won the individual awards, right? The Heisman, the Nagurski. Um, but now with this leadership that's coming back and now that these guys know exactly um, how to be leaders, I would say, um, it's up to this team to really build that continuity and that cohesiveness to have a championship caliber team. Yes, all the components are there. I think specifically um, on the defensive side, a lot of these guys returning, man, these guys are gonna have one of the better defenses in college football. I think there's some holes to fill, same with the offense. Um, but overall, I think that um, William Anderson, in my opinion, probably the best pound for pound player in all of college football returning. I know you got Bryce on the opposite side um, and no disrespect to Young, and we'll talk about him in just a second. I just think that William Anderson, um, you know, the presence and the poise and what he brings from a defensive uh, player is you know everything that you want and i think that he would probably be a top five pick if he was able to go in this year's nfl draft um regarding bryce young i, I think that um certainly he knows what he has to do and i think now it's around the player the players around him to really step up i think Sa saban kind of emulated um that this uh this spring talking about when players do have a chance and probably talking about that wide receiver position these players have to step up these players have to be ready to go um, Jermaine Burton, I think, is going to be a, a fantastic addition. I'm already hearing really good things about him. But what other wide receivers are going to step up? I think that's one of the bigger question marks that we all have going into the season. Um, you got Jermaine Burton, Ja'Cory Brooks, of course, going to be out for the spring. So what other wide receivers are going to step up? Now, here's an interesting nugget. I have been informed that Alabama is still trying to uh, get another offensive lineman and I think you know we all know it's going to be probably the grad transfer from Vanderbilt but I also am still hearing that Alabama is um, not opposed to taking a uh, wide receiver and that would be a grad transfer wide receiver from uh, kind of piecing things together um, by the way look how beautiful Sarasota is Sarasota is just really amazing um, so that would be a great addition for Alabama to clearly uh, get another wide receiver with some experience and I think kind of reading between the lines that tells me that they need some more vets within that room now of course you have um, you know a guy like Treshawn Holden that has some good experience coming back um, you have you know a Jojo Earl a Christian Leary that could be that speed guy and I'm hearing really good things about um, the younger wide receivers that are freshmen here they're fast blazers but there's a big difference between freshmen um, that are coming in and, and vets right I mean we all know that so um, kind of stay tuned and see what happens um, haven't really heard too much about the running back room just yet. I think we all know that, um, you know, Jace McQuellen, Roydell Williams, uh, those guys that we really haven't talked about too much just yet. Those guys are certainly ballers. Um, you know, the, Jamar Gibbs, the transfer in. You got Trey Sanders, who is leading the running back room. All those guys, absolutely ballers. Um, on the defensive side, uh, I think the question marks that we all have kind of going into the season um, probably rotate around that inside linebacker spot, right? Who's going to step up along with Henry Toto? Um, and what are we going to see from, um, you know, the corner spot? Elias Ricks coming back. We really haven't had a chance to see him just yet. Really excited what he brings to the table and uh, what he can provide for this um, defensive unit. I think he's going to be a really impactful player. So um, Alabama will start its second practice on March 21st. And uh, we'll keep you posted at Bama Insider. As we go forward to the springtime, we're going to post some different questions to you guys. Make sure to um, get your questions inside the comment box. And, um, you know, we will be, uh, you know, we will be talking to you guys uh, all spring football long. Can't wait to really get back to, to the grind and, and start producing these videos because we really enjoy, um, you know, you guys as a community. Thank you for helping us get to uh, close to 75,000 subscribers. And we'll continue to provide more information right here on Bama Insider. Reporting to you from beautiful Sarasota, Florida, Kyle Henderson of Bama Insider.